Hello everyone, Pixelmonk here, and today we are going to be looking at this week's news and updates for Old School RuneScape. This week, Jagex has decided to add a new boss to the game named Scotizo, the Archaic Demon. The description is, Lurking deep beneath the catacombs of Karend lies Scotizo, an ancient demon that lay dormant for centuries feasting on the intense power of the Dark Altar. The easiest way to get to him is by investigating the King Rod of the First Statue in the city of Great Karend, which will lead you into the catacombs. This demi-boss is only accessed by the use of a Dark Totem, which is an item that can be created by combining the Dark Totem base, middle, and top, and then used on the Dark Altar in the center of the dungeon. All these components can be found by all the enemies inside of the catacombs, with the exception of ghosts. Each totem only gives a player a one-time access to Scotizo as it fades away after use. Once you are in the fight, be aware that this is an instance room, meaning if you die, you lose all of your items. Scotizo is a level 321 monster with 450 hit points that is particularly weak to Arclight, Silverlight, and Darklight. But in order to fully damage him, you must disable the awakened altars in the corners of the room. The Arclight will immediately disable them, making it the best weapon to use. When out of melee distance, he will attack with magic, so protect from magic is highly recommended. When Scotizo is half health, he will summon demon spawns, and possibly a dark Anko. Once defeated, he will always drop a hard clue scroll given that you don't have one, and also one to four ancient shards. This boss actually does have a really good drop table that includes death and blood runes, rune armor, noted dragon stones and battle staffs, and a 1 in 50 chance for an elite clue scroll and many more. There is even a chance that you might receive another dark totem to fight him again. If you find yourself losing the fight, you can use the one-click teleports that are in the room to get you out of there. Also, the Midsummer event is now upon us, so go over to Taverly and help the druids fight off evil spirits and potentially receive rare items, including several discs of returning, half jugs of wine, a mask of balance, and the new Midsummer helmet. Speak to Hotfix in the Druidic Circle to start. Basically, you'll be asked to solve a riddle of which you must have in your inventory. Be sure to check the runescape.wikia to get the answers. When you have successfully answered, Hotfix will reward you and ask you to come back the next day to complete the ritual again. Doing so three times will earn you special rewards. Finally, the Treasure Trail launch event has started testing players' clue-solving skills. Over the next few weeks, clues will be posted on the forums and will only be solvable in-game, which allows you to get a brand new set of cosmetic gear each week. Once all four clues have been given, they will provide information as to the fifth clue. The first player to successfully solve the fifth clue will be forever commemorated in the game. The first clue is going live today on Twitter at OldSchoolRS. Be sure to stay tuned for next week's Old School RuneScape news and update video to get the latest in Gillenor. If you did enjoy this video, please share it with other people that would like it, and I'll see you next time.